So, this place is the village of Ajustrel, the village of the three shepherds of Fatima. And we are going to the house of Lucia to check the well behind Lucia's house where the angel of peace made the second apparition to the shepherds of Fatima. So that's where we are going to right now. So this place is the house of Lucia. It is written in Portuguese language, Casa de Lucia. So this is where Lucia, the eldest of the three shepherds, that's where she lived. And if you look over there, you see where it's written in some other languages. The third one says the house of Lucia. So I'm going to show you the sheep because these three shepherds were taking care of their parents' sheep and, and this is a, a stable where the sheep stay see all these places so this ha look at this beautiful sheep here uh, this reminds us of what these three children were doing during the time the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to them. So these sheep are so beautiful and they are peaceful eating here. So we continue. So when we get to the place, we're gonna read about what happened that place at the well behind the house of Lucia. It is such a beautiful place. Uh, these three shepherds were truly prayerful children because they always pray their holy rosary. And you can imagine that that is the reason why the mother of God spotted them. If they had not been living very good life, pious life, hard working, prayerful, maybe the mother of God would not have spotted them. And this is why we ask parents to raise their children in the fear of God, teach them how to pray, teach them about the church. And when these things are done, when we begin to teach the children early enough, just like the parents of Lucia, Francisco and Jacinta, when we begin to teach them early enough on how to love God, about purity, then everything will be fine. So this is the spot. This is the place where the second apparition of the angel took place. And that's the image of the three shepherds, St. Francisco, St. Jacinta and Sister Lucia. And this is the image of the angel that appeared to them at this well. When you hear about the well, this is the well. Right now it is locked so that people don't fall inside. So we are going to read the message of the angel of Portugal on the second apparition to the three shepherds of Fatima. So the second apparition of the angel to the three shepherds of Fatima took place here. And let's read uh, from Lucia's account what took place, what happened, what the angel said to them and uh, everything that happened here at the sunspot in 1916, the summer of 1916, a year before the apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And this is the account of Lucia. The second apparition of the angel was not in the same place as the first, but near the well in the kitchen garden of Lucia's parents. That's here. After rather a long time, on a hot summer day, summer's day, we were playing near a well my parents had in the kitchen garden. We called Aneiro. That's what they call this well. Suddenly, we saw near us the same figure, the angel. What are you doing? Said the angel. 
pray, pray. The hearts of Jesus and Mary have merciful design upon you. Offer constantly to the Almighty prayers and sacrifices. And then Lucia asked, But how can we accomplish this? And the angel replied, In every way you can, offer a sacrifice to atone for the sins that offend him and to implore the conversion of sinners. In this way, you will obtain peace for your country. I am its guardian angel, the angel of Portugal. Above all, accept and humbly endure the sufferings the Lord sends you. The angel's words sank deeply into our souls, said Lucia, like a burning torch, showing us who God and his love are for us and how he wants us to love him too. The value of sacrifice and how it pleases God and how he receives it for the conversion of sinners. That is why from that moment we began to offer him whatever mortified us. The guardian angel of Portugal asked the shepherd children to pray and sacrifice in order to obtain peace for their country, which he loves so dearly. So that's the uh, second apparition of the angel. One important thing here is that the angels ask them, what are you doing? Pray, pray. The hearts of Jesus and Mary have merciful designs upon you. Offer constantly to the Almighty prayers and sacrifice. And when they ask the angel, what, how are we going to do this? The angel replied, in every way you can, offer a sacrifice to atone for the sins that offend him and to implore the conversion of sinners. So the same thing goes to us. There are so many things that happen to us and we do not realize that we could offer that as sacrifice. Now we have to learn it. That's what the angel taught the children to do. So when we are going through pains, when we are sick, when we are disappointed, when we are going through certain difficulties, let us remember to offer that to God and ask him to accept it in atonement for the sins that are committed against him and also for the conversion of sinners. So tomorrow we take you to the place where the third apparition took place. Thank you.